and we're going to show you how to change the oil in this 2004 GMC Sierra. This is really an easy one to get to. The plug's easy to get to, the filter's easy to get to, didn't have to remove any skid plate or anything like that. If you crawl underneath it, and we drove it up on some ramps, you can see where the drain plug is and the oil filter. Really easy to get to. So first what you want to do is get a 15 millimeter and you're going to remove the oil plug. And you want to make sure that you do have your oil pan down there that's going to catch the, the waste oil. And we've got one down there on the ground. If not, you're going to have a really big mess. So uh, have that ready to go. And then you're just going to allow that to, to drain. And once it's drained out, you can remove the oil filter. Now this one I was able to get off with my hand. Sometimes it might take an oil uh, tool to, to get that off, but uh, I was able to get this one off by hand. So you just want to loosen that a little bit and let some of that drain out. And then you're going to finish removing this. Now a little bit of uh, advice I will give you. It's really good to wear the, the latex type gloves so you don't get this on your hands. We're doing this at my house and I didn't have any. So uh, really save you a lot of cleanup time and keep you from getting oil all over you like that. So uh, just a little tip for you. But anyway, you're going to let that drain into the pan. And now I've got the new oil filter. And I'm just putting some oil on that gasket. And that will help it be able to... Uh, Whenever you go to tighten it, help it slide on there. Because you don't want to get these too tight. Uh, what I normally do is just get it just as tight as I can with my hand. And uh, if there's no leaks, that's good. And usually there's not. So we're tightening that up. And I'll get it just as tight as I can with my hand. And I try not to use the, the uh, oil filter tools on it. You know, those wrenches to just to crank it down and get it really tight. Once you have that on, uh, you can put your plug back in. And... Uh, screw that on and, and again with that uh, you can mess these up too you know you want to snug that down you do not want to over tighten these you know just get it nice and tug or else that'll cause a lot of problems that you don't want and then we went to the top of the motor and pulled off the uh, oil cap and we're going to start adding the oil to it and you see here it says uh, 5w30 and that's what we're putting in it we're putting the high mileage this has a uh, over 100,000 we're putting the high mileage uh, synthetic in it it probably be the first synthetic that we since we've had the truck that we put in it um he hasn't had this truck too long this is jordan's and uh so we're going to add that in there we've got five quarts we're going to put in before i get it all the way full though i'm just going to check the dipstick kind of make sure you know you know that the oil is you don't want to overfill it and you don't want to underfill it. So just check your dipstick and make sure you know you've got it to the right level so I've got a little bit in the container left, so I'm going to go ahead and check that dipstick. You want to let it set for a few minutes before you do that and let the oil settle. And it looks like it's going to be right with that. I probably left about a half a quart in there. I'm going to go ahead and pour that in, and then we should be good as far as putting the oil in. Like I said, this is really an easy oil change. I know on my Titan, I have to remove a uh, skid plate and stuff. And, uh, you know, you don't even have to do that with this. Everything is easy to get to. And you could probably get under this without putting it on the uh, the ramps like I have here. If you are using ramps, be sure and put it on there. Put it in park. Put your emergency broke, brake on and block the back tires. You know, you don't want this to roll off on you. You know, always follow all the safety precautions. Um, but, yeah, I like to get it up just a little bit higher, make it a little bit easier for me to, to get under there. So we're going to put the oil cap back on. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to start it up. And we're going to check for leaks. You know, you want to make sure uh, nothing's leaking. Look under there. You know, look for leaks. Did it, is it leaking off? I mean, it's leaking water there, condensation. But, uh, you know, check for leaks. We didn't have any leaks, so we're backing it off now. And we have changed the oil. But on this pickup, there's one more step to do. And you want to turn the key to the on position. You don't want to start the engine, just turn it on, pump the pedal three times within five seconds. One, two, three, and that will reset your oil life reset right there. And that way it'll reset it and, and it'll be ready for, you know, to for the next oil change. And that's it. Very simple process. Only takes a few minutes. Uh, but it is very important, you know, that you do change your oil when it's scheduled to, either whether you take it to a shop or do it yourself. Uh, it is very important to stay on top of that. 
as always thanks for watching if you have any questions or comments just leave them in the comment section below thanks again for watching take care and we'll see you in the next video